Hello and how are you? My name is Mahindu Bark and I welcome you to our second lecture of creating a complete market multi vendor marketplace where we shall have a web portal, a mobile application and a website. So it's going to be a complete action packed uh, tutorial series. So without wasting much time, let's go straight into our today's business and resume from where we stopped at in the previous lecture. So if you still remember the previous lecture, I was telling you about uh, the local link where you can access your project, your local host in the what? In the, in the what? In the emulator or accessing the, your local host on your mobile phone. Let me share my screen. I don't know that I've shared my screen. Let me check. I've shared. All right. So where you can access your mobile, I mean your emulator, I mean you, you can access your project in the emulator. So for me, I already did that and I hope you are successful. If you give it like two hours trying to figure out how to access your uh, local host and emulator on your mobile phone, trust me, if you give it like three hours, you will not fail. Basic, basing on what I've already shown you what to do. So let's go ahead and uh, do what? Let's go ahead and um, and see how we can uh, be able to link our project. So this project, the code that I gave you, this code that I gave you, uh, this code that I gave you, uh, it has a utils class. So let me zoom my code so you can see a little bit. Let me just sit and I try to zoom. So you can see my code clearly. Mm, the code is zoomed. I think the code is already zoomed. You can be able to see it. All right. So I was telling you that if you come to uh, to the lib and then come to model, then come to utils. Okay. So in this utils, you'll find a uh, base URL. Okay you'll find the base the base url so this base url this one api url it is the one that we're going to be using to uh work as our main url so the rest of it will be extending i mean the rest of url will be extending to this one so i'm going to change this url from the online link that i was having when it was deployed i'm going to comment it and i change it to be this local link Remember, I told you that you should be able to access your project on the local host. So this is my IP for the local host on Mac. So I'm going to change and put the name of my project. So if you will see here, the name of my project is Market Link Web Main. Okay. And I'm able to receive it here. So I can just simply copy it and then come and put here, put here the base of my API. So I can just remove all this garbage and then replace it. So I remove this auth and I put stroke API. So by doing like that, I'll have put up to the base of my API. So if I have this, I can be able to log in. Uh, let's see uh, what you can log in on what the, 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 the credentials that you can use to log in. So if I come here to localhost, market, market link, stroke web. I have here, let me see if I have some logins. Let me see. Admin, admin. Okay. Admin. Uh, 4321. I think that should work. Oh my god. Whoever, we have finished the logic of uh, creating an account. You can create a new account right now. All right, let's let me just okay. Let's first create an account and see if let's begin with creating an account and see if it is working. It is not working, we fix it, no problem. So let's come to register. So when you click on register, uh, here we shall put the logic of asking if you're going to register as a vendor or not. We shall do all that later, okay? So let's go ahead and put here, um, uh, your first name so I can put here. John Black. Uh -huh. First name John, last name 
lac à email jb jb at gmail.com à part phone number 07834661 à company test company and then currency ugx and then password maybe 4321 that's the password that i'm used with let me just change it one two three four one two three four. i used it for demonstration i'll a lot of things so let's go ahead and create the account yeah, perfect it has worked okay it has worked only that <laughs> using it for other things let me run it again so it has worked perfectly and uh, this code i'm giving it to you for free and i've already shared the code so it has successfully connected to my local uh, host i see i'm not authenticated i don't know why again let me log in afresh um let me log in afresh let's go ahead and put jb at gmail.com password 1234 login it's not working account account not found okay account not found all right so let's try let's begin from there let's begin from there okay so let's go to our database so we are starting now from there let's go to our database which is on localhost and then uh, we go to our uh, database which is called market link which is this one and then you come here to users admin users okay so you come to admin users who is the last user the very last user is this one okay let's tell me that the user was not created all right let's fix that let's begin from there straight so what i'm going to do i'm a little bit fast but don't worry you're going to put everything together let me, what i'm going to do i'm going to go to our project which is uh market link web main and then first determine which database we are using okay so i'll come here to dot eve and then go to the database which is this one here then i come to our database php my admin and then search for this uh, market link this is the database that we are using all right so let's begin uh with the login and then the rest will come later okay so let me go to admin users table users table i told you all the users are here so this is the number that i'm using to log in okay this is the number that i will be using for logging in so let me log in using this number so i'll come here to the database i mean to my online version i try to log in uh four three two one that's the one i always use it is logging in now let's go to the mobile app and see if it will work so i'll come here instead of email let me put the phone number uh plus two five six seven eight three two zero four six six five and then password try to log in so it has worked so it has worked and i'm going to explain everything and what it took me to reach that level so here the whole point is we are able to connect our local database with our emulator and i told you it is also possible if you're using the same network let's say hotspot you're also able to connect your mobile phone the real phone with your what with your emulator i mean with your local host so that is the very very important part that i wanted us to reach now i want now to go to this main page and i show you what we want to do right now so let me go to the main page so the main page is here main screens then come here to menu route think I duplicated here another one here in menu route this one here let me go ahead and unlock some other things
let me go ahead and unlock some other things that are hidden some other screen that are already deleted I'm going to need them And just import them by the way. Just import them. All right, let me import them. Let me import them. I'm going to explain everything, so don't worry about a thing. So yeah, those are the columns that I wanted. So our project is going to begin from here. Remember this code I've already given it to you. All that is required is for me to explain it to you. And uh, I've told you, well, all your task is is to set it up just like the one I showed you in the first video, and make sure it is and make sure it is working on your computer. Once it is working on your computer, the rest is going to be simple. Just watch out. The rest is going to be simple. I'm just going to explain everything. So don't give up on just setting it on your PC. That's all I need you to do. Okay. So now, let's begin now. I can all right so first things first so the whole the whole stock I mean the whole um, the whole the whole the whole project will depend on stock okay so I'm going to begin by working on uh, products okay so once we finish adding products then we proceed to other things so to add products of course you'll come here to my products what to call stock okay and then you'll access a button for adding stock okay you're going to access so you come here to my products you're supposed to access the button of adding stock and that's where the whole business is going to start from okay so let's go ahead and go to um my on the right stock items Products, stock items. So let's get that screen. That is the screen. So here is an icon it is in white color it's in primary color it's not being seen okay so the whole business is going to begin from here okay so we're going to create a stock adding screen okay which is going to be here so to create stock adding screen you'll press here and i'm going to take you to this section and explain to you everything step by step a message kindly share the code watch the first video in the first video i shared the code i even explained how you can even set it up on your computer so just watch the first video all right so this is where we're beginning from remember i've already shared with you this code so and i've shown you how to set it up so all what you need to do is to set it up and then we begin from here now the real business now here we're having store category. There's a place where we'll be, I mean, it is a point where we'll be setting the what? The stock category. So just simply come and store categories and then you'll be able to select the stock categories. The reason why they're showing like this it is because we have not set the pictures, but we shall do that. We shall fix that. So these store categories will be set by administrators on the dashboard. On the, I mean, sorry, on the web portal. Okay. Now I'm setting the stock categories. You should be able now to state to set the what the stock item then the stock uh the stock what the stock batch number then the price then the 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 selling price the buying price the selling price 
and then the original price and then the stock description and after you'll be able to set now the image now the challenge that you're having right now is that uh, to make a real shop you will need a real images okay enough images for the customer to get convinced just a second all right so where are we are uh, we i was saying that now now this is where the whole program is going to start from i was saying that um in order in order in order to make a customer convinced most of the time the customers will need enough pictures okay and sometimes we may need these pictures to be to be compressed okay because people will upload pictures that are very heavy someone will take a picture of 3 mbs and he'll upload it but uh, when you have this picture of 3 mbs online someone will want to view it very fast without loading so much of the logic that we're going to finish right now you're going to finish it in learning how can you upload many pictures with simplicity and also make them uh, fast or compress them so that's the, that's the logic that we're going to do and make them fast or compress them when you're doing what when they're being viewed on the customer's phone so uh now the challenge is here because i have experience in doing these things so the challenge that we are having here is that uh, I will need to upload like four, five pictures for this same product. Okay, remember this is the the the, the parent of everything. So what someone will be seeing on internet, everywhere on the website, it will be coming from this particular project. I mean this particular form. So the problem here is that I'm going to upload uh, like uh, five pictures of one product, but. Uh, if we don't do a very very good logic here is that when if each form is let's say if each picture has like two mbs it means that five pictures are going to come to have around uh five pictures are going to have around um 10 mbs so uploading 10 mbs while someone is waiting still uh, the, the the vendor will get annoyed so the logic that we're going to do we are going to put the logic of uh, uploading pictures on top here we're going to ask the, for the, the, the vendor to please select pictures and start uploading them. I mean, just to select pictures that they're going to upload. So after they have selected pictures, what we shall do, we shall do the logic of uploading these pictures in background. Remember, we're going to put it on top here. We shall do the logic of, of uploading these pictures in background as the farmer, I'm um, sorry, as the vendor is filling the form. So let's say that this form will take like uh, two mi one minute to up uh, to 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 be fed into to to be filled. So by the time the farmer, uh, sorry, I'm just obsessed with farmers. By the time the vendor finishes filling in the form, by the time the vendor finishes filling in the form, this form, I mean sorry, by the time the vendor fills finishes filling in the form, then the photos should have uploaded so that is the logic that we're going to do so another scenario is sometime still photos the network might be slow now i want to do the logic that these photos can still be uploaded in background if you've ever uh, uh if you have the latest facebook application when you are uploading uh, a photo on facebook these days they let you to proceed with browsing and then they say that we are uploading your photos in background but you can continue with browsing because they learn they have learned that users are not patient so that is the logic that we're going to do right now we are going to do in a way that when i'm feeding the form the photos are already uploading secondly if if the if i finish feeding in the uh, submitting the form even if I finish submitting the form and uh, I want to proceed to another product, I should not wait for the other photos to finish. They should keep uploading in background. Or even if I don't have internet, when I connect, I should be able to do what? To upload these products. So that is the logic that we're going to do. It's not going to be simple. <laughs> so get ready. And once we finish this uploading uh, confusion, you will see that now the project will start flowing. You are going to proceed to listing 
and then making orders, adding to cart, check out. Those are the things that we're going to do. So let's go ahead and face it. So right now, in our project, we already have this logic of uploading a single what? A single product. I can either, uh, sorry, a single photo. I can either select here and I say I want to use camera or I want to use gallery. Why is it not working that? I've already added that logic. Let me see. I don't know why it's not paying it. Okay, we shall see here in the errors. Uh -huh. Why is it not saying it's like, use camera? Uh, it's not working. Okay. Select from gallery. It's not working. Okay, we're going to fix that. So I've already finished that. So what we're going to do right now is to do now the logic of uh, compressing as well as as well as uploading these photos in background just like the web said. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we're going to do. Now I'll go to a project. So if I go to a project, uh, where is it? It is called um, Inverter Track. Inverter Track. Where is the project? Sorry, it's not Inverter Track. It's called Market Link. Market Link Web Main. So if I come to a project, then I come to our uh, app, and then come to HTTP, and then I come to, sorry, let's go to API. Okay, API is under routes, sorry. I come to our app, I mean, I come to our routes, and then come to API.php. So in here, we had put the logic we had put the logic of uploading what? Of uploading photo. I hope it is still there. I hope I still have it. Okay, it's here. It's called file uploading, okay? So, but this file uploading that I had put here, it is very, very shallow. It does not have that logic that we have just talked about. So, we are going to create another uh, file uploading logic and then you put everything that you want. Uh, that want that want to do okay so let me show you so this is file uploading logic so what it does you get, just get a photo and then it just uploads it okay so let's test it let's test this file uploading logic so to test this file uploading you're going to need postman application a postman software so postman software you can just simply get it on internet just simply come and search postman okay so this postman you will go you will be able to download it is free software it will help you to test your apis without too much pain okay or we can i'm just here yeah, there between i don't know whether you should just use the application directly all right let's just use the application directly and so that when we finish using the application without even postman we should know that we are done we are totally done something like that okay let's do that all right so uh what i'm going to do right now i'm going to i'm going to create a screen that we're going to use for uploading image just for image testing image uploading okay so let's go ahead and create that screen okay so since we already have this screen of uh, of what of uh, uploading we already have this screen of of uh creating a new stock I'm going to create a new screen for just testing the uploading a photo okay so i'm just going to duplicate this one that we have so i'll come here uh this one is here it's called stock item i mean sorry stock item create i'm just going to copy it and paste it ctrl c ctrl v so now real work has started okay real work has started so i'll just go ahead and copy this we have been just preparing now we have started the journey i'll copy it and then paste it oh, why is it not just copy or oh, let's just simply come here to file and save uh, and save it as file just it's not duplicating ctrl c ctrl v ctrl c ctrl v yeah, okay it is now copying okay so i'm going to just call this one uh, image uploading you know images are very very important and that's why we're going to spend much of our time because people are just interested in what they see so once you figure out how to work with images then everything will be all right okay so 
uh, let me call this one image uploading uh, file okay say image uploading screen image uploading screen okay that is the name of our of our screen then i come here to the class Ctrl f alt and enter and i paste it there all right that's it that's all we need uh so i'm going to remove something that i don't want for example i don't need this parameter for now we're just going to remove this here okay okay yeah we don't need those uh let me just remove everything that i don't want let me remove everything that i don't want let me remove this item okay let's remove everything that we don't want uh you don't want this okay my init All right so let's go ahead and remove you don't need this category what and what let's remove those so it can be on the same page remember this code i've already shared it with you all what you need is to download it and then start from here okay so if you have ever tried to start your own and it fails maybe you can try this one so let's remove these things buying price and the rest let me remove this all right so that's okay the remaining with the image so if the image is not empty this is like uh, when you're displaying the image if it is editing let's remove all these we may not need them for now let's remove those let's remove that let's remove that I don't remove room columns. Okay, so this is if the path is empty, then else should be yeah, nothing is fine. All right, so let me remove. Okay, let me remove this. Keep it just for later. All right. So I save everything is okay now let's navigate to this screen uh let's navigate this screen so navigate this screen i can just simply come to my to this this very creating stock item which is here creating stock item and then i come here to top where there is body here i'm just going to put a a, a button Okay, so I just put here some text, uh, text, and then say uh, test, test, photo upload. Okay. All right. So our text is there. Okay. Let me make it clickable. And put your size. Uh, let me make it clickable just simply put here container and then change container with inkwell and then come and put on tap method okay and then navigate to it by using get dot two and then point at the screen that i've just created this one okay so I just go ahead and import it. Now everything is okay. Now let me go ahead and click on test photo upload. There we are. All right. Now let's see. Let's face it face to face and see what is what. So no image selected. Let's go ahead and say select image. So I can use camera. It's not working. Let's see why camera is not working. Uh, camera is not working. I think I disabled those things. pick from camera 
so i think i removed those things here yeah, i think yeah so delete from camera here yeah i removed the logic of of file picker let's come here and add that package so you will need to come here and come here and say for image picker flutter package okay so go ahead and search that uh so it'll give you a package this is the package it's called image picker so go ahead we are going to install it come here to installing i'll just copy this command of flutter and then we go ahead and install it so i'll come to terminal and then install the image picker so i'll wait for a minute and we wait until it finishes so as we are waiting we can just read here how it is used here in readme or an example so if you're picking from uh, if you're picking from from camera this is how you pick it's just as simple as this you create an object and then you say pick source gallery pick source camera let's begin with this camera uh, yeah so that is how you create it so so here you say image pick select image it will be calling this function of do pick image so i'll just check if if source is camera if source is camera i'll go ahead and import so i'll import this by doing alt and enter and then import state so let's go ahead and create the picker so you can create the picker like this let's see if you can create it here on top outside at once so it is okay all right so how do you get the path so the path of the file how do you get the path of the file by just simply saying uh if path is not null if path if path is equal to null it should return otherwise we should say image path remember this one is checking if the image path is there it's called photo dot path so by doing so i'll go ahead and set state so it can update so let's go ahead and test the camera so i go ahead and say pick using camera all right it has not accepted yet okay all right so let's do the same also for the let's put this one here so you can do it once let's do the same for the gallery if else if it is else we can just pick from gallery just simply say photos go to that you can put your photo on top here and equate it to null and then come and remove this initialization here hope that is acceptable or oh, it's not acceptable but, uh, so i just simply do it twice come here if it is photo if it is camera you do that if it is gallery you pick from here all right let's go ahead and and try to select image select from camera so it's not working select from gallery it's not working so we have to restart our application let's restart it again so the real business has started it's not going to be a simple journey but we are going to go step by step and trust me you'll be able to finish So it is launching. It is launching. 
Just a second. Oh, this log also. Just get a look that it's not destructive. All right, so there you go. So come to my products, come to create, test photo. All right, let's select from camera. There it is loading camera. So let's say select OK. The camera is there. Then I say take it. You see the camera photo is there. Remove image. Can select from what? From uh, what? From the mobile phone, from gallery. So now I want to work on this submitting, okay? <laughs> want to work on the submitting of image. Now before I work on the submitting of image, um, let me first remove this. I want us to first work on the quality because there is a way how we can process uh, quality, okay? Uh, in what? Using the mobile app itself. There is a way how we can process that. So this is how we're going to test that, okay? So that we should not suffer with quality from the website, okay? We cannot, I mean, try that so we don't suffer with the quality from the website. All right, so let's go ahead and put here some um, some double. Here's some double. And then say maybe, like say, photo size and make it zero by default. Okay, so I'm going to come here where there is a photo category category photo here i'm just going to put here the size of image image size and then i put it there in mbs okay yeah all right so we're going to work on that logic of trying to get the image size something like that Okay, so um, I want right. Okay, so let's come here to submit. So this is our submit button, uh, but we're going to not. We are not going to use it for submitting right now. So let us return here. Okay. Now I want to get the image size. So get image size so i'll go ahead and check if image path is not empty this is how we get the image size and then i set state so let me show you how we get the image size is just simply file and then you put you give it the path and then you go ahead and then say file sync length sync and then you give it uh you divide by one uh, 1024 1000 and times 1024 by doing like that you'll be able to get the what the size of the image or the size of the file so let's go ahead and for example get here an image so that's an image from camera let's go ahead and get its file size you see that is file size uh let me say uh let me Reduce it to two decimal point. To two decimal places. So yeah, that's how I can reduce it to decimal places. Let me make it uh, maybe uh, four, three. Let's make it four because that is a small thing. All right, so submit, say so it's see, it is 0 0.6 MBs. So this image is really small. Uh, the images from camera, they are small. Now, let's get the image from uh, gallery. Okay, let's first download here some images from gallery. So as I told you, you may say as if we're wasting time, but we are not wasting time. We are learning how to improve the experience of users. Okay? We are not really wasting time, but when, when you get a final product, when the images are very fast, the things are working in background, You'll never know how much time someone put in to, for you to get that. So that's what the perception that I want you to be with. That to do something good, you really need to give it time. Okay? So you may say like, okay, we have spent the 40 minutes on just images. But you'll see when the system, when we change the system, 
your seat is worth it. So let's come here and download just some heavy photos in our emulator. Just come here. Heavy size images. Get just some heavy size images. Can this and splash maybe? I download this image. Let's see how heavy it is. Okay. Let's come here, for example, to let's list the source. My brother, that is what it takes to come up with a cool thing. So that's the mentality I want you to have, not to demoralize you. Let's go to Unsplash and get some heavy sized photos. All right. Yeah, seeing the large photos. Cannot download this. Let's see here. This is from iStock. Good. Sting our time now. Those are heavy photos, eh? This is like 3 MBs. Okay, this one will be good for us to use to practice. Okay, let's get some, some more too. Maybe that can be enough. All right, that can be enough. This can be enough. All right. All right. Okay, we are downloading two photos. Uh, they're the same. No, they're not the same. So let's wait just a second as they finish to download so we can work on the image compression. Downloading. This one has finished. So let's go to our application. All right. Change image from gallery. Uh -huh. So get size. You see that is uh, 3.66 MB, just like the, how you expect it. Now, I want. Now, let me show you the gallery. So this, this, this what? This um, image picker, it can help you to compress the image just even using the phone by use of what? Of quality. Okay. So you can pass here the parameter of image quality. For example, let's pass the image quality of 50. But before we do that, let's uh, make this a little bit bigger so you can see something bigger uh so let come here to the image and then come here to height where is height let me give it like uh, 500 so it can be a little bit bigger so you can also as well see not just to to mess up with the quality okay but to have something that is optimal at the same time have something that is both uh, that is both what that is both 
that is both looking good and not very heavy okay so something that is optimal like this image you can reduce its quality okay so i've just come here to file picker and i've just given it image quality of 50 okay so let's try to submit i have not picked so let's try to pick again change image from gallery let's pick the same image and uh, let's see its quality i mean its size you see its size is now 1.17 so we are working on it so an image that would have spent space of two images we are now able to at least have that one all right let's try to reduce the quality again I don't know whether that's a good idea. Let's try to reduce the quality. To reduce the quality of every image. Uh, I don't know if that will be a good idea. I don't know if we can just if we can do the logic of um, first check how the how heavy the image is before we actually reduce its quality. Hmm? We shall see how we do that. All right. So uh, let's go ahead. So I put the quality of thirty. This is the most common one that many people use. Thirty. So let's try to see the quality of 30. Go ahead and select your image. Get the size. One, 0 0.17. I think it still looks good. It still looks good. But the problem is, if we, you convert the quality from here, there will come the image that already has poor quality. And again, you reduce its quality. That's where the problem comes from. So it will be better if we first get the image and then reduce its quality something that I don't know whether we can manage to to achieve huh? okay we shall see we shall see we shall see what the... can I what? can I do this Picker. Let me see if I can use picker to change the quality. Pick image, pick media, pick multimedia, pick video. All right. Okay, we shall search it later. All right. So let's try to make 30. I think that's the 30. We have zero point, which is reducing. Let's make 20. Uh, that's not good, the idea. So the image is still looking good. Let's try to make 20 and you see how it looked like. So that is 0 0.46 uh, from, from 3 MBs to 0 0.4648. But you can see the quality of the image has started doing what? Has started fading has started fading let me zoom so all those things have to put them into consideration uh, my idea is like if we could let me zoom it again so i can see properly my idea is if we could first get the image before we reduce its quality there it is there it is you can see it guys the quality is reducing now okay let's make it maybe Let's keep it 30. If you keep it at 30, uh, maybe you shall tell people don't upload very heavy images. Let's make it 30. All right. But this is a camera image, a very big camera image. So let's get the image size. 0 0.7. 0 Seven, but you can see the quality is somehow. All right, let's go with that for now. Uh, we shall also do the maybe the image quality in background later, later, later. Uh, so there you go. So I don't know if we can't change this quality of the image later. Let me see. Like you first determine its size before you change the quality. Let me see. Let me see.
see if you have what time are you remaining with i don't even say the counter my god the time is over but it's okay uh, okay there is no so let me just check here only way is to pick and then change i think that's the only way but let's try to see if we can get flatter okay, this flatter image compress i think this one can also help us it's a independent package maybe we can use it for for compressing the images okay i'll first look into it and then i teach it to you yeah it is very popular it is having uh, it's very popular you can see all right so that's it for today so in our tomorrow's lecture we're going to work now on the logic of uploading this image and also working on the logic of making sure that things can upload in background so make sure that you don't miss i'm going to share the links of these videos so you can be able to download the code and make sure that you get on the same step with me because i'm going to give you this whole code so once you have this whole code it means that the remaining things that shall be building uh, we shall be building them together all right that's it for today unless there is a question if there's no question is there any question i think there is no question so matter no question goodbye see you tomorrow